is a Kelpie. What is our understanding of this word Kelpie? Has anybody been a Kelpie? Yes! Kelpie yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> Excellent! Part of the brownies, yes! Well, the, the Kelpie myth is exactly that. It goes back to pre-Christian Scotland, to Celtic folklore. And the Kelpies were water spirits that inhabited the rivers and they were shapeshifters like water. Water changes shape depending on what you put it in. They were shapeshifters and they could appear in a variety of guises. One of their favourites was to appear as a horse and so one of their names is Water Horse. I like this one for exactly this reason. It's just such an extraordinary view. And I always have to wait for a moment or two. Which is great, let's be honest. Well now. So what do you think of my office? The first thing though that once a sculptor starts to explore an idea, in a way that an artist making a big painting will do studies, a sculptor makes something we call a maquette. And a maquette is a small scale exploration of the full size project. Now the maquette for the maquettes for the Kelpies are one tenth full size. So Horseshoes in the sculpture inspired by Duke. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Okay. The, the whole idea of, of this, these resonances and things, the Kelpies are part of a much, much bigger project. Are they great? Yes. Well, That's where I will be headed. <laughs> and loads and loads of pictures of them I just never passed them on the motorway I never appreciated the immensity of them it was actually quite emotional inside when the guide was telling us about them and I suppose I'm a big softer Is that the Liberty Bridge? No, that's a swing bridge. That's a swing bridge. I should around. walk you down to the Liberty Bridge. Okay.
That's a drawbridge. Try me again. Try me again. Yeah, the bridge. The bridge. 